I'm going to present a, a, a paper that is called Improving Presentation <coughs> Skills in the, context of, in the Context of Software Project Management Teaching. And I will try to be very brief, extremely brief. Uh, introduction the course, the study, design, sample, results, and conclusions. And this will be the base, right? So be prepared. Uh, presentation skills are really important, uh, no matter we are teaching to uh, engineers and we are supposed to be geeky and absurd, we are not like that. Please stop, uh, uh, let's say, giving the impression of that to all the people. If not, we are blocking, for instance, most of the ladies. Good? So, it's extremely important and it's even more important for us, computer scientists, right? Because we need to attract more people, okay? We need to attract double the people that we have now to solve the needs of the society. Okay, in any case, um, these kind of, of skills are present both in the Bologna Declaration and also in the ABIT uh, criteria, that is for accreditation of, of uh, uh, let's say, engineering uh, proposals. It's also uh, a field of study inside computer engineering and software engineering uh, computing as a, as a broad term since the 70s, maybe late uh, 60s also. And it's also present in most of the most important uh, publications in the area. The first is maybe Swivo, that is a software uh, engineering body of knowledge and is part of, of the professional <coughs> practice. That is one of the 13 uh, knowledge areas that this uh, publication has. Also the, the software engineering body of skills and finally, it's also part of the consortium that, that uh, IEEE and ACM launched uh, like uh, 20 years ago and is now in the last, uh, let's say, step of the, of the 2014 um, uh, development for software engineering. So finally, in a, and in a nutshell, it's really, really important, no matter what we teachers in the world are doing, right? <laughs> so. Uh, most uh, from the literature, uh, there are also uh, studies and more or less recent that uh, uh, has uh, witnessed the importance of, of these kind of skills. And these are uh, two, uh, let's say, citations to give like the soundness to this talk. But finally, let's try to improve presentation skills in uh, in the field of our students. Okay, so. Uh, we have a course that is a course that is very, very broad. Uh, we have, uh, for being like in, in Norway, it's a really a huge course. We have around 70 uh, students, okay? It's not only in Spain, okay? We have 70, okay? Also there, 10 ECTS, well, they have not uh, strictly uh, embraced the, the concept of ECTS, but we can say that it's 10. And it's a mixture between uh, I'm sorry, the, the four uh, studies that we have in, that we have in, in Bachelor that are uh, computer engineering, <coughs> the digital media production, uh, computer science and information <coughs> systems. We have four hours of lectures and two hours of group work. The, the idea is to mix practitioners, so we invite people from industry to give talks there, and also teachers, okay? Uh, we have now three teachers with different backgrounds. So I am coming mostly from the, from the computer, uh, uh, computing, uh, let's say, area. We have another, let's say, more mixed uh, approach and, and another teacher that is coming directly from industry and from management, uh, with a management background, right? And we have also a, a couple of, of student assistants. This is Norway, with, so we have lots of money, not to pay us, but to give others. Uh, and they are, uh, and, and we are paying a couple of student assistants to mentor people, right? To mentor the students. This is very good because it's another, let's say, step, and they are paid. Okay? This is very good because they are paid. And we are also providing some mentoring. So the other day, for instance, we have, uh, let's say, around 10 hours in a row of mentoring. Okay? 10 hours in a row of mentoring. So every group, around 45 minutes, in a row, okay? <coughs> One thing that is important uh, and is related to the, to the, let's say, the aim of, of this talk is that we record the previous presentations that they are doing all the time, right? So we record what they are doing and the students' assistants, not us, are giving them feedback. 
This is very good because this is a way for this fair uh, feedback, okay? Instead of like this uh, different not flat feedback, okay? And we have an assessment that is uh, based on oral presentation and some project deliverables with plans, descriptions, and something that is not very well <coughs> here. They are also producing a mute because they have people with digital media production, so it's a way for all of the members in the group to, to do things on their own competence, okay? So we, we develop a study every year. We, we do something, we invent something. This year we are doing something on emotions. And this, uh, last year, we did something on this presentation. Uh, two anonymous questions at the beginning of the, of the course and at the end of the course, and then we compare. I mean, very basic uh, stuff. We have two parts. The first is coming from general questions on that that are not covered in this, in this study uh, that, are, that I'm presenting uh, today. And, and another part that is uh, more technical uh, that it's, it, it's going to be explained here and, and we assess uh, using a Likert scale, they assess, auto-assess, uh, uh, using a, a Likert scale, several 13 uh, aspects. Uh, contact, the style of presentation, timekeeping, clarity, tone, uh, speed, uh, structure, and uh, listening, responding appropriately, and so on, right? So, pre and post, okay? And see if something happened in between. The sample, Around 60 subjects, uh, we started with 70, but some people, okay, no matter you are in the north or in the south, the story is the same, okay, all over the world, okay, so the people disappear, they are there, but they, are, they never appear, okay. Uh, at, at the beginning, uh, we had uh, 59, and at the end, we have only 50, uh, 55, so even in the process, from the first presentation, that is like one month after the beginning of the course, uh, four more even, let's say, uh, ejected. Um, 57 valid questioners in the first and 54 in the, in the second. Again, no matter you are in the north or in the south, people are, okay, head in the clouds. Good. I am trying to, uh, to bridge the gap between the north and the south. <laughs> okay? Four years and a half there. Everything is the same. Good. Some gender imbalance. Any, any surprises here? <coughs> no, right? Just okay. something there. Given that I have an audience here, the only place in the world that I've been and we have not in computer science gender imbalance, or we have, but it's negative, not positive, is Tunisia. Okay, in Tunisia there are 80 percent of ladies attending computer uh, computing courses, and only 20 of of of, gen of gentlemen. Okay? Something to, to think about, right? Something to think about. I, I, I'm not telling a thing on that, right? I'm just witnessing this fact, okay? That we have all over the Western world this gender imbalance, no matter if you are in the South, in the North, or in Central Europe. But if you go to Tunisia, Egypt, and so on, it's contrary. Okay? Maybe we need to devote some time to explain this. Okay? In deep. In very deep. What we are doing, yeah, what we are doing bad and what we, what we are doing good. And there is more or less a fair distribution uh, among the studies. Okay. So results. We have better final values than initial values. Perfect. We are doing our job. Okay? We can be happy and we can feel that we are very important and very proud. Okay? That is finally the aim of being on academia, right? Or not? Good. Uh, we have higher increments in several parts. I'm always kidding, okay? I'm not thinking that. Okay? I don't think that we are in academia to feel. At, at least I am not. I cannot say from others, right? But I am not uh, in academia to feel more important and so on. Okay, but okay. Higher increments, uh, they, they have higher increments in responding to questions in a nice way. This is very good because normally I ask them questions for, to challenge them, right? And this training is, I think, fair. The structure and the style of presentation, this is not rocket science, finding that, okay? We, we have been teaching them to do it step by step, so good. And lower increments uh, are coming from level of appropriateness and use of visual aids, maybe because some of the people are coming from uh, digital media that 
okay, is <coughs> somehow very close to this uh, area, right? Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, well, of course, we have developed this and know that <coughs> debts and so on, something very important and very uh, sound, okay? Uh, we have significant different, uh, differences in the style of presentation, clarity, speed. Some people are very, very, very fast in, in, in presenting, while others are really slow. Okay, and having this kind of, of pace is something that is not very easy, and the control of time is not very easy, you know. A structure, a handling of questions, this is, for me, this is the best thing. And connected to that, responding uh, in an appropriate way. Uh, result, we don't have uh, initial, uh, let's say, significant differences uh, among group of students. Uh, with regards of their studies, we don't have. Okay, so we did the ANOVA thing, and it, it is what they show. Uh, <coughs> of course, we don't have enough population from the lady, pers ladies' perspective to say that we have gender differences, right? Because if not, we will have several threats of validity. But yeah. there is something, okay? But I cannot say with, let's say, big boys that we have. Right? I think the ladies develop a little bit better. This is my viewpoint. Okay? They develop a little bit better, but given that we have only 15%, uh, we cannot say we big words, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, conclusions. Okay. Initial, initial good, uh, good results. The bad thing is that, okay, this is just a, a, a prospective study. Uh, and we need to do one thing, uh, maybe for next year or the other, is to us isolate the results from the practices. Okay? Because we are doing several things. Okay? Mentoring, pair mentoring, and simply guidance. And maybe we will be able to, let's say, isolate the <coughs> effects from the uh, tools that we are using. And maybe this is the most important piece of work that we want to do in the future and that's all. <laughs>